human nature is intrinsically conflictual. It intrinsically causes us to maintain contradictions in our head and then in our behavior. The moral modules in our minds cause us to condemn other people's behavior. They cause us to condemn all kinds of different uh, acts from using a cell phone while driving to, in some cultures, combining different kinds of food or even dancing or other kinds of behavior. And then again, we have these modules in our heads which cause us to do those very things. And in this lie the roots of human hypocrisy. My name is Rob Kurzban. I'm at the University of Pennsylvania, and I have a book entitled Why Everyone Else is a Hypocrite, Evolution and the Modular Mind. The book is really about human nature. It's about contradictions in human nature. It's how we can believe two things simultaneously which are mutually contradictory. And one way that I like to illustrate this is with a very simple optical illusion. In this optical illusion, there are two squares, and your visual system perceives them as looking very different from each other. And in fact, if you uh, take away the surrounding background material, you can see that these two squares are identical in shape. So one part of your brain believes that the two squares are the same, and another part of your brain believes that they're different. And so I'm interested in why, and even how. How is it that your brain can simultaneously have these two different beliefs? And I think that the way to understand this is to use the example of a smartphone. So the reason that today's smartphones are so smart is not because they have one killer app. They're smart because they consist of a lot of different applications, all of which have really narrow functions. And these functions are bundled together in a phone that allows you to do lots of different things. What I argue in the book is that the human mind is very similar to a smartphone. Mechanisms that are designed to do things like cause you to eat good foods and cause you to seek mates, do all the different things that humans do, you can think of as little iPhone applications. And the crucial thing about these applications is that because they're simultaneously running in the same head and they have different jobs and they're isolated from each other, oftentimes they can have mutually contradictory information in them. They can contain contradictions. And by understanding these mechanisms and how they work and how they operate simultaneously, often without our awareness, we have a much deeper understanding of human nature. And ultimately, this book explores that aspect of humanity.